Lisa, whenever you're ready. Okay, great. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, I wanna thank Danny and the Chelmsford Library for hosting this program today. And what we intend to do is give you a snapshot of what the Small Business Administration has to offer for any of you who are looking to either start or grow your business. So let me just one second share my screen. And let me, okay. Uh, Can you see that? Yep. Okay, great. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop my video. SBA's platform is Teams. So sometimes when we're on Zoom, we get kicked out. So in order to not take up too much bandwidth, I'm just gonna stop the video so we can stay connected for the program. But I'm here. <laughs> so thank you again, Danny and the Chelmsford Library for hosting this program today. Um, my name is Lisa Gonzalez Welch. I am an economic development specialist with the US Small Business Administration, the SBA. And for those of you who don't know us, the SBA, we're a federal agency. We were created by Congress back in 1953 with the mission to help start and grow businesses. So we have one office in every state, Guam, Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Here in Massachusetts, we have two offices. Our main office is in Boston, right at North Station, adjacent to the TD Garden, right at the O'Neill Building, which is where I work out of. And we have a branch office in Springfield. Right now, due to the pandemic, we're all working remotely, but you can certainly reach us via phone, email, Skype, Teams, Zoom, whatever works for you. So what is the plan of SBA? Well, we're here, as I stated, to help start and grow businesses, to build a healthy entrepreneurial ecosystem, and to restore small business and communities after a disaster. And as you can imagine, we've been very busy in that area, and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. How can the SBA help? Well, there's a couple of areas. The Small Business Administration, we can help you by providing free business counseling and training by helping you get access to capital through an SBA back loan. We can help you recover from a disaster through disaster loan programs. And as you can imagine, we've been very, very busy there. You've probably, some of you have heard of the PPP or the idle loan program. And we can also help you grow your business, whether that be getting into the procurement arena, doing business with the federal government, or perhaps you want to export your product to another country. One thing that I would do is invite you to visit our website. You can find us at sba.gov forward slash MA. And within that website, you'll see a calendar of events. So even though we're all working remotely, you'll see that there's webinars taking place every single day that are being hosted by either myself or other, the rest of our SBA team or our resource partners. You can also get to see our resource guide, which is a magazine that we publish once a year. And it has information that's helpful as you're getting ready to launch and grow your business. It connects you with all of the SBA programs and resources, but it also gives you information on state eight, what the state has to offer as you get ready to start and grow. Danny said that there was a couple more people that had signed up for this webinar and we realized at the SBA that sometimes life gets in the way. So we put together this online classroom that offers courses for entrepreneurs that range from seven to 20 minutes long on a variety of topics, starting a business, managing employees, financing, e-commerce, taxes, you name it. You can take these courses 24 hours a day free of charge. And at the end, it gives you a nice diploma from the SBA that you can either add to your business plan, your portfolio, or maybe you wanna frame it and hang it on your wall. Right now, there are 63 courses being offered. One of them is cybersecurity. So take a peek. I'm sure you'll find something that can help you as you're getting ready to launch and grow your business. One thing we realize is not easy out there. It's very challenging, but I think we can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's getting a little better, but we just want to let you know that you're not alone. We at the SBA and our resource partners, we're here to help you. So whether you have an idea and you're trying to bring it to fruition, whether you've been kind of doing something for a little bit, or maybe you've been running your business for a number of years, let us know how we can be of help. One thing that we do is we invite you to sign up for our newsletter. And you can do that at sba.gov forward slash updates. Our newsletter used to be published quarterly. Right now, there's so much information that we publish it twice a month. 
So if you sign up to sba.gov forward slash updates, you'll be on the pulse of what's going on at SBA. And I apologize, my four-legged child is howling in the background. I think somebody's delivering a package. Uh, we also invite you that if you do have a question that's not addressed uh, by the time we end this webinar, you can certainly send it to our district office mailbox and you can find that at massachusettsdo at sba.gov. That mailbox is monitored 24 hours a day and we'll get a response for you. And finally, to connect with our resource partners, visit sba.gov forward slash local assistance to find the nearest resource partner to you. So remember, you're not alone in this journey. So let's talk about our resource partners. I'm an economic development specialist with the SBA. So what I do is I put a face on our agency. I work closely with lending institutions, local state government, colleges, just about anybody to see how we can team up and help any of you that are looking to start and grow your business. I'm also the Women's Business Ownership Representative for Massachusetts for SBA. And I'm only one of a team of 14. And right now they took two of our uh, temporary folks to help our disaster team. So we're down to 12. And they just, we just found out they took another two to help on another project. So as you can imagine, we really rely heavily on our resource partners. And one of them is SCORE. SCORE has been around since 1964. And when SCORE started, SCORE stood for Service Corporate Retired Executives. They have a new tagline, it's SCORE for the life of your business. The reason being, not all of them are retired. Some are running a business, some are working, but these are men and women that wanna give something back. They volunteer their time to act as a mentor to help you navigate how to do business in the state of Massachusetts. So whether you need to get together with, with the SCORE mentor and talk about pricing, maybe you wanna talk about marketing strategies, maybe you wanna talk about how do I put together a partnership agreement? Maybe you're ready to retire. How do I do an exit strategy? They can address any and every aspect of starting and operating a business in Massachusetts. It's all free, it's all confidential, and you can go to them as often as you'd like. Now, I know that Chelmsford Library, Danny, we're in the Northeast, right? So I can tell you that the Northeast SCORE chapter has 11 locations. So when you go to their website, scorenemass.org, which is listed right there, you'll see that they have 11 locations. Right now, as I stated, we're all working remotely. So all you need to do is send an email and they'll set up some time to get together with you via Skype, Teams, Zoom, phone, email, whatever works for you and help address any business issue that you may be facing. The other thing that's available to you is you can actually send a question to that score.org um, website at the top. And what that is, that is, that would go to the National Score Office. It's viewed by all the score chapters across the country. And you'll get a response to your question with somebody who has background or expertise in that industry. And they could be in Seattle, Washington or Newburyport, Massachusetts. So that's another way of getting business advice. Our next resource partner are the Small Business Development Centers. And these are a little bit different. They operate out of colleges and universities throughout the state. So they get, they're structured a little different. They get 50% funding from the SBA. They get 25% in this case from the state of Massachusetts and 25% from the college or university they're affiliated with. They all operate out of colleges and universities throughout the state. The great thing is they can tap into the academic resources of the school that they're linked with. So the one in the Northeast is based out of Salem State University and they cover all the way from the Northeast, all the way down to Boston and as far west as Framingham. And one of their strengths is they can help to ensure that your business plan is in place to make sure that all the T's are crossed, that all the I's are dotted, that your cash flows are in sync with industry average. Their services are also free and confidential. So they're another great resource as you're getting ready to launch and grow your business. Our third resource partner is the Center for Women in Enterprise. And they're only one of 128 women's business centers across the country. And we're lucky, not only do we have one, we have two. So we have the Center for Women in Enterprise, one based out of Eastern Mass in Boston, and one based out of Central Mass in Westboro. Their mission to empower women to become economically self-sufficient and prosperous through entrepreneurship. So they have programs for starting a business, growing a business, they have networking events, they have a CPA you can talk to, an attorney, and although their focus is women, you guys, you're also welcome to utilize their services. 
So everybody's welcome to reach out to the Center for Women in Enterprise to see how they can help you as they're getting ready to, as you're getting ready to launch and grow your business. Again, they too are working remotely, but you, all you need to do is send an email and they'll set up some time aside to get together with you and help you in any way that they can. And the Women's Business Center actually got the grant to run the Veterans Business Outreach Center. So SBA, first and foremost, if we have any veterans on the line, I wanna start by saying thank you for your service. We at the SBA, we realize a lot of our servicemen and women had to put their dream of starting a business or their business on hold to go serve our country. Through the Veterans Business Outreach Center, we provide counseling and training. We connect our veterans with resources that can help them as they're getting ready to grow, launch and grow their business. So this is another great resource. If you know of anyone that's a veteran that's looking to start a business, please feel free to give them my contact information or let them know that there is a VBOC that can be of help to them. So you have all these new friends. You have me and, our S and your local SBA team. You have SCORE, you have the Small Business Development Center, you have the Center for Women in Enterprise, you have the Veterans Business Outreach Center, and then we're gonna talk a little bit later about the Mass Export Center and the Procurement Technical Assistance Center if you're interested in contracting. So I talked about SBA helping you get access to capital through SBA back loans. How do we do that? Well, we're not a bank, first and foremost, we don't have one penny to lend to you. But what we do is we partner with lending institutions where we can act as a guarantor if you can't get financing conventionally. So what can you use SBA financing for? Well, maybe Danny wants to buy my business. He could do that. You can use it to, use it to purchase machinery and equipment, refinance existing business debt, launch or grow or repair a startup, as long as the funding is going towards the business. So how does it work? Well, you would get together with our resource partners and you would put together that business plan that I mentioned earlier. It's really important. It's a roadmap where your business is today, where you wanna see it two to three years down the road. It's gonna educate the lender as to who you are. What's your industry? Is it children, pets, elderly people? How much financing you're seeking, what you intend to do with the proceeds and how you intend to repay the loan through your cash flow projections. Once the lender looks at it, they're gonna say, okay, Danny, we have a product for you. Or they could very well say, you know what? We could do this with the SBA. Why? Well, it might be that they need a longer term on the loan. The collateral might be a little bit weak under their guidelines. Certain industries are risky. For example, there's a lot of great restaurants out there, but it is a risky industry. So every lending inst institution has different guidelines and criteria. And once you go to the lender, if it's not quite there, that's when they would bring in SBA to get, help them get to that yes decision. The terms, it's flexible maturities up to 10 years for working capital and up to 25 years for fixed assets. Oftentimes I get the question, well, Lisa, if I get an SBA loan, it's gonna be a lower interest rate, right? Well, not necessarily. You would negotiate it between, you would negotiate that between you and the lender, but typically it doesn't see, see prime plus two and three quarters. Remember, we're only here if you can't get financing conventionally. So there's something called a Section 7A of the Small Business Act is the umbrella with all the different loan programs. So once we know through your business plan how much financing you need and what the proceeds will be used for, if it ends up being SBA, we'll be able to determine which product's gonna work best for you. Just know that the maximum loan amount is $5 million. We have no minimum. We can guarantee 85% of loans under $150,000 and 75% of loans over $150,000. And again, you can use these to purchase machinery and equipment, refinance existing business debt, expand, renovate a facility. Maybe Danny wants to open a Dunkin' Donuts or something. We'd have to look at the franchise agreement, but we do finance franchises as well, as long as it's for the business. How do you increase your chances of securing a loan? Well, that business plan is critical. You really want to go through the exercise of putting together that business plan so you can address the questions that the lender is going to work for you. And through our resource partners, we can help you ensuring that everything's in place, that all your T's are crossed and I's are dotted. So how do you find lenders? Who's giving out loans, right? Well, there are loans being made every day, but one way to identify, actually, we have a listing of all the lenders on our website that I showed you earlier. So if you go to sba.gov forward slash MA, you'll see the 127 lenders that do SBA financing in Massachusetts listed. You'll have the name of the lending institution, address, phone number, fax, email, everything is there for you. 
And then we also rank our lenders. So you can see the activity. How many loans did Danny's bank do versus Lisa's credit union this past quarter? So that's listed there as well for you. One thing that SBA put together is this lender match. And lender match is kind of like the match.com between lenders and entrepreneurs. So the way that it works is you go onto lender match website, you fill out a two page application describing your business needs. It's viewed by 300 SBA participating lenders and those who may be interested or may wanna learn a little bit more will reach out to you within two days. You talk to the lender and if you're interested, you apply for the loan. So it's a way to identify a lender that can give you the financing you're seeking. So when and if you're ready, check out Lender Match. So now that you got all the counseling and training, right? And you got the financing, we wanna see you grow. So how do we do that? A number of ways. One way is through contracting. The federal government, we're the largest buyer of goods and services. We buy everything from paper clips to jet planes. So there's a lot of opportunities to grow your business by getting some contracts or subcontracts. And a lot of it is preparing yourself. So take a look at that uh, website, sba.gov forward slash MA. Um, my colleagues who head up the contracting side of the house of SBA, they put on webinars right now on like opening doors to government contracting, where they address the myths, the realities of doing business with the federal government. So 23% of everything that the federal government buys, we must buy from small business. We're given goals. 5% has to go to women owned, 3% has to go to service disabled veterans. So there's a lot of opportunities to grow your business through contracting. If you'd like to learn more, certainly visit sba.gov forward slash contracting, where you can learn a little bit more and also attend our webinars. We'd love to have you come join us. Also, what are the benefits of being certified? If you're certified yourself, let's say as a woman-owned business, sometimes there's set-asides, which means that it's just what it sounds like. These contracts are set aside just for women entrepreneurs. So it gets everybody else out of the room, which gives you a better opportunity at obtaining those contracts. We do have webinars to learn more about how to certify yourself as women-owned, serve as a disabled veteran, 8A Business Development Program, which is a nine-year program for socially and economically disadvantaged businesses, and historically utilized business zones, which is driven by census track, which is really where your business is located. So when and if you're ready to learn more about contracting, send me an email, contact us. We'd love to connect you and see you get some of those contracts and subcontracts. Another area that can help you, we have PTAC. So this is another friend of the SBA. They're kind of like the cousins of the SBDCs. And PTAC stands for Procurement Technical Assistance Centers. So these Procurement Technical Assistance Centers have procurement technical assistance representatives. And what they do is they help you navigate how to do business with the federal government and the state. One requirement is they'd like to see you to be in business for at least two years. That way, we wanna make sure that you can fulfill the contract. When somebody's starting off, you're trying to get established. So if you have that two year track record, we connect you with your local PTAC and they can help you in how to acquire how to acquire some of those contracts and subcontracts that are put out by the federal government and the state. They can also help you with a capability statement. So another great resource to help you if you're interested in getting into the contracting arena. Another area to grow your business, branching out. So exporting. Nearly 96% of consumers live outside the US and two thirds of the world's purchasing power is in foreign countries. So we certainly want to help our businesses here by growing, by exporting their products to other countries. You can learn more about going to our website, sba.gov forward slash exporting. And we also have that export assistance center that I mentioned, where they provide training and counseling. It, they're located in Boston. Right now, everything is virtual, but Paula Murphy and her team can help you. And if you need financing, there's also an export working capital loan program. So let us know if you're, if you're interested in learning about exporting and we'll connect you with all the resources that are available to you. We invite you to follow us on Twitter, to visit our Massachusetts District Office webpage, and I'm gonna to try to take you in there next, and to subscribe to our newsletter at sba.gov forward slash update. So right now, before we go into the website, Danny, I don't know if there's any questions that we wanna address. I'll stop sharing for a minute here and let you get back. 
there's nothing in the chat. Uh, but if anybody has any questions and they want to ask them now, you can. Quiet group. <laughs> Oh, this is Joe Fournier. I would say uh, so far you've been very clear and very helpful. So we appreciate you that you've done a lot of important this morning. So um, that's just me. So uh, maybe somebody else. Sorry, Joe. You're you're a little bit quiet. I think you might just be a little bit too far away from your mic. We're gonna say, uh, can you hear me now? Clear? Yeah, much better. Okay. Uh, I was just gonna say. Uh, your presentation so far has been very clear and very helpful. So, but I don't have any questions at the moment. Okay, great. So let me see if Danny, I'm gonna to try to bring your website. I'm gonna to try to share it. So bear with me because and you're also welcome to put any questions on the chat box as well if that's easier. Yeah, thank you very much, you two. I go to uh, school, so this remote Zooming is something I am used to. And I'm just taking this in. My business law teacher introduced me to uh, this score and this kind of education here, and oh, I'm excited. Okay. So I'm sitting back and taking notes and <laughs> listening on. So you guys are my second class I took. You just said about your cousins. I was just in that class at 1 o'clock this <laughs> afternoon. That's funny. Yeah. So let me see. So Danny, I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to maneuver our Patreon. <laughs> can you see that? Yeah, I can see it. Perfect. So when you go to sba.gov forward slash MA, this is what you see. This is your Massachusetts District Office homepage. So I mentioned to you that resource guide, which is published once a year. And if we were in person, I'd I would be at the library and I would have brought a stack of these magazines to Danny so he could have available at the library and I could hand over to you. But since we're not, the next best thing is for you to view it online. But I want to make sure you see this because this is really, 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 really helpful. Um, so when you click on that, and every state has their own. So I don't know if I have any out of state or sometimes we have folks from over the border. SBA information is the same. It doesn't matter if you're in Guam, Virgin Islands, you know, California, New York, or here. It's just the local information that's different. So I'm trying to see, Danny, is that opening? I can't even see where it's at. It, uh, it has, there, there it is. Well, that was, the, that was the main page. But when you click here, you get that magazine. I don't know, it might be too big to open on. I don't know why it didn't. I'll try it in a minute. This is that calendar of events. So anything that we are holding, it's listed on this calendar. So you can take a peek and see what's going on around the state, okay? So here we are, that's our event, but these are other things taking place. So there's a lot going on every day. So we may not be in the office, we may not be able to drive and be there in person, but we certainly are offering a lot of webinars on business related topics. So take a peek because not only is it a great way to learn about a topic, but you can network with a room full of entrepreneurs as well. Then down here, we have this re business resource and news. So these are press releases that we put out that you can take a peek at. This is new from our office. So you can take a look at that. And then down here, Mentor Counseling Partner Network. These are our resource partners. So the Northeast SCORE chapter, and we talked about SCORE, they're the ones that put on, um, they, they're your mentors. So you can go to them as often as you'd like and get business advice. So you can see, request a meeting, that's where you would go. The branch is near you. Right now, everybody's virtual, but this will show you where they are. And I told you that the Northeast, there's 11 branches. So they're in Beverly, when we get back to being in person, Burlington, Cape Ann, which is up in our Rockport. They're in Haverhill, Lawrence, Lowell, Lynn, Malden, Newburyport, Revere, and Stoneham. So you can go to any of them, doesn't matter, but this is where they are located if you're interested in um, learning where they counsel from. Right now, as I stated, they all are doing remote. Um, everything's being done remotely. So you can just go um, online, request a counseling um, meeting, and they'll set up an appointment for you. They also put on webinars from time to time. So take a peek 
and they have a newsletter that you can sign up for as well. So there's a lot of good information here. Um, I'm the liaison between SBA and the Northeast Sport Chapter, so I'm a little biased, <laughs> but they have a real uh, great group of men and women, very, very knowledgeable, very sharp. So I'm sure that um, you'd benefit from meeting with them. So if you make an appointment, tell them that Lisa said hi. <laughs> So let's take okay, you will back. do. Thank you. <laughs> so let's go back to our page, which I'm trying to get to. Here we are. This thing is so fast. Okay. So that was score. And then if we go to the Center for Women and Enterprise, and as I stated that we have two of them in the state, right now everything is virtual. And although their focus is to help women, they help everybody. So take a look to see what webinars they have coming up. As you can see, they have workshops like legal considerations for new business owners, steps to starting a business, that's me, SBA, basics of business contracts. So take a peek because they do also offer resources and programs that can be of help to you. So they're another great resource and it's all free. Wonderful. Let's go back and we're going to visit the SBDC and try to get into our classroom. So now the Small Business Development Center, the one in the Northeast, we're going to Salem State University. So this is them. And I got to try to remember where they have their um, Seminar training and seminars and events. Okay, so this is what they have coming up. So they too put on webinars. So you can see they have one um, getting relief for shuttered venues. That's for uh, businesses that are in the arts industry. Like if you're a museum, that type of thing. Also federal government contracting. Uh, this is, I think business, I don't know if it's in Spanish. What you need to know about the Paycheck Protection Program, that's the PPP program that I was talking about, legal requirements for small business, coaching tools. So take a peek um, between all our resource partners. They, they offer, again, webinars on business-related topics to help you no matter what stage of business you're in. Which brings me to, usually I get the question, well, Lisa, who do I go to first? Should I go to SCORE? Should I go to CWE? They're all part of the SBA family. We're a team. So we all work together. So my, I feel, you know, my thing is, I feel like you, you can learn something from everyone. So reach out to all of them. I'm sure they'll all have something to help you as you're getting ready to launch and grow your business. Right here is a whole piece on contracting. So you can go in and learn about contracting when and if you're ready. This talks about our lending programs, state and local resources. And then we even give you some success stories to inspire you. You can take a look at. Down here is where you would find the lender match. This is that match.com I told you to find lenders that may be able to give you the financing you're seeking to start and grow your business. And this is where you would sign up for our newsletter. So let me see if I can get you to, and I don't know if I, if, can I do it from here, Danny? If I go to another site, will it take all of us there? Do you know? Yes, yeah. We're, we're uh -huh. watching your your browser screen right now so it should okay you can tell i don't do this for a living right this <laughs> <laughs> so this is the um training classroom that i was talking about so this is where you would find those courses so under this learning centers where you would find those courses now one thing that we have that's new that i want to share with you is this ascent and this is new, this is hot off the press. So Danny, I think you, you and your group are the first ones to hear about this. So this Ascent was put in place. It's a digital platform. And what we found at SBA, there's programs to help women start a business. There's programs to help them when they're a little further along, but it's that middle piece. So this Ascent was put in place to help that middle piece. And although it was designed for women, it's available to everybody. So take a peek because it has journeys and I'm gonna to try to click on this. I don't know if it's gonna work because I've never done this before. So we're trying this together, all of us. <laughs> so you can go in and I don't know if it's gonna open but it has journeys and you can pace yourself and take these journeys any way you can. This was done, um, it was a collaboration between the White House, the Department of Labor, 
the SBA and the Department of Treasury. So it addresses all the different aspects of starting and operating a business. And I, it might be taking a while to open, but you can go in there and you can take a peek at it. Um, but I definitely encourage you to look at it. Let us know what you think. And you can actually pause it and go back. So it, you can kind of like pace yourself as you're going through it. I'm taking you to the national site. We were in the Massachusetts site. Now you're in the national site. So this is SBA national. So right here, you'll have a whole section on business guide. So doing the market research and, and doing a competitive analysis. How are you gonna set yourself apart from your competitor? You know, why should I go to you? How are you gonna price yourself? Cal calculating your startup costs. All this is available to you. All information that the counselors will go over with you and you can go to them as often as you'd like, but if you'd like to get a head start and start getting some of this disinformation, you can certainly do so. Then we have a whole section on funding your, your business. So we have programs for established businesses that have been impacted by the pandemic, and that would be under our disaster loan program. And then we have lending programs for pro those who are looking to maybe start a business who need working capital. We have a whole section on contracting if you're interested in doing business with the federal government. And then we have that learning platform that I just try to show you that didn't work too well, but you can go in and take a peek. So I wanted to make sure you knew where that was helpful. And what about also, uh, um, I know a little bit about export import. Um, yeah. So what do you offer in that? Well, I know you mentioned it, uh, but what, right. let's say I was making widgets and I wanted to export these widgets to the Middle East. Yeah. And I needed you. What would you? What would be? Uh, say uh, you. What would be your um, something you could talk about in that in that sense? So when it comes to export import, we we don't get involved in importing. Uh, exporting, okay. yes, we want to help our companies here grow by exporting their products to other countries. So by working with the Export Assistance Center, Paula Murphy and her team, and and their remember I said we have we I think I said we have six small business development centers. So they're the ones that operate out of colleges and universities throughout the state. Yes. And then we have one that focuses just on contracting, government sales, and then we have another that is the Export Center. So by okay. working with Paula and her team. You can learn about the tariffs, anything that, you know, they could identify which country would be more likely to want to do business, business with you based on your product. Okay. That's what they do. So definitely if exporting is something that you're interested in, I would definitely encourage you to send an email to set up an appointment to meet with our, the team at our export center. And that's all free and confidential. Okay. Thank you. And maybe if you need financing, that's where maybe an exporting, uh, you know, working capital loan might come into place. So it's all tied together. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Not really. <laughs> it is kind of late for me too. <laughs> it's funny with sleepy, school. Danny. We should have done this at noon. <laughs> with school, I always said like seven, five o'clock, my brain stops sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we five, can try a daytime. Yeah. You know, maybe yeah, down the definitely. road, we can do this again and, and try a daytime. I welcome the opportunity. Danny, is there anything that you're seeing from your patrons, you know, the, the entrepreneurs that maybe I can help address, not at this time or? No, not really. Um, okay. Yeah, we have a lot more job seekers coming into the library than entrepreneurs uh, right now. Okay. Um, we've been kind of helping them find resources and, and, and helping them apply for jobs using our computers. Uh, okay, I see. And, and Danny, you mentioned... Um, the, uh, you have access to the Small Business Resource Center. What yep. does that mean? Just uh, is that something that the library patrons have access to on the web page, or do you order books through them, or how does that? What what can you expand on that? Yeah, so uh, the Small Business Resource Center is an online database. So um, it's not ordering books or anything like that. All of the information is available online through your computer. Um, you can access it through our website. Uh, real quick, I can give you instructions on that. So if you go to chelmsfordlibrary.org, uh, and actually I'll share my screen real quick and show you what it looks like too. Um, okay. Because we can do that. Uh, where is my share screen? There you are. All right, 
So this is Chrome. Oh, we're gonna go somewhere else. So it's chelmsfordlibrary.org. Um, under the research it tab, the orange research it tab on the top right here. And then we have a, a drop down menu that has all of our online resources. They're alphabetical. So if you just go down to small business, um, you can find the small business resource center. Um, when you're at home, it's gonna ask for a library card number to, to log in. Um, but I am already logged in. Um, and basically what this does is it has four major topic areas. You know, creating a business plan, including things like budgeting and ideas and market research, um, getting funding, um, getting started, and then managing your business. So those are kind of the big four topic areas. Uh, and you can kind of drill down from there into those topics and, and find more information and articles and, and trainings and things like that. Um, and this is all free, um, accessible with your library card for free. That's wonderful. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, well, thank you for coming. Um, and thank, thank you, Lisa, for, for putting this on. Uh, well, thank you. And, uh, awesome, thank you very much, everybody. out of it. <laughs> yes, thanks, thanks to uh, Lisa and Danny, appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good night.